Hi everyone, welcome back. So today, uh, this is new to me, but I am going to be using some uh, lawn fawn dyes and stamps and some distressing to create a um, new, brand new for me, center picture window card. That's a lot of words, but it's it's a very cool little card and it's a tiny little card, but I love it. So um, I'm going, I've done all the die cutting just to save some time and you'll see I do make a couple boo-boos because, you know, I don't know what I'm doing yet because we're doing this together, even though I watched the video. <laughs> so, so Kelly does a fabulous intro video to this die set. So I would definitely re recommend checking that out. Um, but what she was also saying is that all the um, shadow box add-on dies will fit and work with, so the sizing is right for this center picture window. So that's awesome because it just means that your dies just go a little bit further. So to start with, we have the main little card, which is this piece that I've got here. And I've already decided what I'm going to do. So I'm going to walk you through it hopefully in some sort of order. <laughs> so I have broken china that I decided was going to be my sky. So I'm just grabbing a blending brush and this is a regular distressing. So this is not the oxide ink <clears throat> and just starting on the top and working my way down. I just want some of that sky um, to come down or that sky color to come down from the top, uh, top down. Uh, I don't need to cover the entire piece because the bottom will be covered anyway. Um, but I also didn't want it to be completely solid. I just wanted that nice sort of sky blue color, if that made any sense. And I also taped it in place because this is the card base. So you don't want the back of it getting covered in ink. <laughs> so this is the center picture. So what, um, what it does is you cut out the main piece and then there's an oval um, that lines up with the fold line in the center um, and that's where you will cut out the oval with the stitched stitch uh, stitched oval contour um, to create your opening um, the reason they've got the main piece as a solid piece is because they've actually got some add-ons um, there's a heart add-on that you can get now so the center could be a heart shape rather than an oval um, so just so you know and then these are the little pieces that I cut out. There's a lot of green on this card <laughs> for some reason. That's just what I went with. So I these uh, this grassy piece, which I'm going to ink all of these in some rustic uh, wilderness ink. Um, these sort of green pieces I'm going to start with here are from the, I want to say they are from the park. It's either the spring or the park shadow box add-on. Um, might be the park one uh, but what I did was I cut it out twice and then I cut there's actually a, a die in the center picture that will allow you to create a fold line in the center of an image so if you want to use other images stamped images whatever you want um, and so what I did was I cut two of them out added the score line in the center and then just cut that in half so I've got two pieces of grass for the other side, for either side of the center picture. And then also cut the tabs off because we won't need them for the front part of the card. And then I cut the tree and the tree tops, as well as the two center picture windows. Um, they're like the hillsides that go behind or into that center picture. You'll see it'll make more sense when we start putting it together. Well, hopefully anyway. Um, and then there's a, an actual little tree that you get within the center picture add-on. Um, there's a little add-on set that you can get. And um, I've cut the little tree out as well. So we've got the trees from the park add-on for the shadow box, as well as the grass. And then we've got the um, little tree that came with the center picture add-on and the two pieces that are gonna create hillsides within the center picture in the within that oval basically hopefully it'll make more sense when we start putting these properly together <laughs> so, so then I cut out again from the center picture add-on I'm going to use some hickory smoke ink um, on this great cardstock so I've cut the little panel that's going to create the front of our card and then I've also used the park 
from the Shadowbox Park add-on, there's a little squirrel, so I cut him out. I also cut the two bunnies from the Spring add-on, um, Shadowbox card, uh, and that's, I've cut both those bunnies, there's two bunnies within that, the Spring add-on. And again, I'm just going to use the, the grey ink, the hickory smoke, around the edges of the, the grey pieces of cardstock, so for my panel and the squirrel, and then a very light hand on the bunnies. Um, my husband actually, <laughs> it was quite funny, he thought they, they were dirty, like I had ink on my hands or something, and that's why the bunnies looked the, <laughs> the colour they were, so I could have left them bright white, but um, I just wanted them to have that hint of colour. Um, so yeah, I guess they do look a little dirty now, but that's fine. <laughs> Um, and then you'll see at the end, I actually decided that we needed a few more bits. So I used the butterflies and the flowers from the spring add-on for the shadow box. Um, but I will show you that, that at the end because my camera dies halfway. So, yeah. <laughs> so I've got the tape on the back of everything that I need. So I'm going to start with the two center, the center picture itself. So there's two score lines. There's a score line in the center of the main card base. And then there's a score line in the center of the what will create the, the fold out part of the center picture. So I'm going to take the tape off one side of the the one of the tabs, line up the two um, score lines. And that's quite easy to see now that I've got some ink there, but you can see it better in person. And then I'm just going to tuck that um, tab underneath. And that will hold that side in place. Oh, sorry about that. So I'm now going to take the little, um, there's a, a wider and shorter heel side and then a, a narrower and taller heel side. So because normally you would line it up at the base of the card and that will give you the look of that heel side. But because I want to add the grass to it, I need to lift that up higher. So again, there's a score line in the middle of these hillsides. So I'm just using that as a guide to see where my hillside's going to stick out so that I can actually, um, you know, stick that down. So this is where I go wrong because I obviously didn't watch the video very well. <laughs> so I stick it or stuck it to the center picture window part. This is not where it needs to be stuck because if you stick it to that, you are not going to have it's not going to work. So you'll see I'll finagle here for a bit thinking I had it in the wrong place and I needed to line it up a bit better but actually I just totally stuck it to the wrong bit. So this is why I also do these videos like this so that you can see what I where I go wrong um, and how we can fix them together and learn together. So, <laughs> so again I've lined it up thinking that's where I need to go because you know there's the tab score line and I'll, it just, it's just in the wrong place. Just ignore this whole bit. But I wanted to leave it in so you could see for yourself as well. My cat's walking past me. And it's when I go to do the second one that I realise that actually the second one is much... Uh, it's taller, but it's narrower. So at this point, I realised that something wasn't right because I couldn't stick that tab to anything but the base card because the centre picture, the, like the window part would not fit on anything and it suddenly clocked in my brain. Um, so I took the tab off one side after I'd lined up the score lines so I knew it was in the center. And this is where I realized I'd done it wrong. So just taking off the second one, I don't know if you can hear my cat, she's <laughs> um, taking off that, that uh, shorter but wider. No, leave that alone shorter but wider um, hillside and getting that uh, stuck the way that I think it should go now. So lining up my center, my uh, score lines all in the center there and then uh, sticking the tab down like I did with the, the smaller one. It was just my brain trying to work this out. <laughs> I think there probably is still a better way to do this um, and like I say I will be going back and watching Kelly's videos again to see but this is how I found it best to work and it works it works all right um, there is a way though <laughs> so, 
So, uh, yeah. So uh, this is me just making sure that when I do stick them, that I'm on the right path now to do this. So this is what I did. So stuck that on there and then take the tab off the second heel. Now, I think that if I stuck them the way that Kelly or how it's meant to, although this works and it's fine and the card looks all right, um, I think there's a reason why you sort of fold the card on itself um, to get those in place so that they're not, there's not, there's less of the sort of wrinkling, but it worked out fine and I was happy <laughs> when I got it right in the end. So we have these two little hills in the center picture, which is the whole point of this. And then I'm going to take the grassy piece that is from the park add-on and just put tape on the bottom edge because you don't want to stick your center bit together. So just be aware of where your oval um, is and where you put your tape on your grassy piece. Um, and then the piece of grass that I had cut in half so that I could get like extra pieces, I'm now going to stick them either side of the, um, along that bottom edge so that again I've got this grassy hillside going all the way across and actually the way it worked out was quite cool because it kind of has this sort of wavy <laughs> if you know what I mean it's not just a straight kind of curve in the hill it just waves uh, it's got that sort of curviness if that made any sense <clears throat> anyway this video is a bit chaotic I've got a cat in here now because she was demanding to come in and <laughs> hubby interrupted because he had to let her in because she was having a fit so yeah sorry so I've got my trees um from these uh, park add-on <clears throat> excuse me and they do overlap that centerpiece but I'm going to show you what I do in a second to just get them to um fold a bit better because I thought this was I didn't think about this beforehand because like I say we're doing this together but obviously when you fold it you want it to fold nicely so I'm going to take my um, score tool and just score right at that edge where it needs to fold and then fold it in <clears throat> and this way they'll fold down nicely and then um, they will stick there so at least they now when it closes and opens it's they're folding rather than bending that center bit in like a weird way <clears throat> excuse me so now i'm getting the tree trunks on and my tree trunks in all fairness are a green <laughs> i didn't have any brown cardstock for this i could have inked some but it wouldn't sort of coordinate with everything else so um, i just went with this really dark kind of green uh cardstock for the tree trunks but these are from the park add-on and again they're just the rest of that tree and they fit there perfectly so definitely a great way to mix and match all your your um shadow box and your center picture images so very cool so this is the little tree that comes in the add-on the center picture window add-on um and it's the i want to say it's the smaller of the trees no might be the larger one <laughs> Now, I think it's the larger of the two two sizes that are in there. And um, I just stuck the trunk bit on top of it um, and added a, an acrylic block so it could just um, adhere nicely. Um, and that will go on the back little heel side of the uh, center picture. And then sticking my bunnies just flat on here because I want this to close flat. So just popping them on there. And again, this helps with having just a little bit of an edge of ink on them so they stand out a little bit better because my background sky isn't super intense. So it just helps for them to stand out a little better. And I will sort their eyes out as well <laughs> in a bit. So to start with, I was going to, I, I tried to get this tree on and I couldn't, I don't know if it was just my brain and trying to put this thing together. I couldn't work out what I was doing wrong here, but every time I went to then move it, to close it, to check it was going to be okay, it kept moving. So I think it was just that I needed to move it over a little to the left, or but not over the score line. Um, and I will get that fixed in place in a bit, but I got frustrated, so <laughs> took it off. <laughs> so I'm then going to take the, um, the squirrel and just along the edge of him, um, his like little feet, I am just adding some glue to the bottom there. So I stamped the happy birthday to you on the front panel using the Henry's ABCs, Henry Jr's ABCs. 
and then added some of the little flowers and the butterflies from the spring shadow box add-on um, just into the center got my tree in the background there stuck on properly um, and added some black dots to the eyes of the um, squirrel uh, not the squirrel the uh, bunnies just so that it added something else but like I say it folds pretty flat it's a cute little card it was not too bad in the end I just need to practice a bit more <laughs> but I like that I could add a few extra bits to it um, to just make it just a little bit better so I hope you've enjoyed this guys and I will see you in the next one bye for now